Looking forward to that. Thanks, Rob. Spring break is here. Charleston International has seen a big boost in people traveling here from other areas. Yeah, that's right. News 2 Sophia Radeball is live at the Charleston International Airport. And Sophia, you spoke with some travelers who are here for their spring break. Yes, absolutely. Well, we've been hanging around the baggage claim area all day, seeing lots of people come in and out. A lot of them looking like spring breakers who are ready to put those books down and hit the beach. The weather a little chillier than we expect in mid-March, but it hasn't stopped spring breakers from coming to town. I'm excited to be here. This group of friends go to college in Vermont. We're really happy to have a break. And not just a break from the books, but also severe weather that's sweeping through the northeast. Vermont is pretty, it's pretty nice, but the snow started getting to me. And their plans for the week are pretty simple. Just to go to the beach, have some nice warm weather, uh, definitely go downtown Charleston, hang out there. Director of Charleston International Airport, Elliot Summy, says you can always tell when spring break has rolled around by the number of people landing in the holy city around this time. It will be more, you know, somewhere between 8 and 9 percent more uh, folks in March. His message to the locals flying in and out. Be patient with us, be patient with everyone else. Um, we're going to get, you know, our airline folks are going to get those bags off as fast as they can. And Summy says they've also added some police officers out in the front near the departures, departures and arrivals to help with that traffic congestion. Live at Charleston International, Sophia Radeball, count on two.